24 different dissatisfactions. The feeble and, as it were, feminine, dissatisfied people have ingenuity for beautifying and deepening life. The strong, dissatisfied people, the masculine persons among them, to continue the metaphor, have the ingenuity for improving and safeguarding life. The former show their weakness and feminine character by willingly letting themselves be temporarily deceived, and perhaps even by putting up with a little ecstasy and enthusiasm on a time. But on the whole, they are never to be satisfied and suffer from the incurability of their dissatisfaction. Moreover, they are the patrons of all those who manage to concoct opiate and narcotic comforts, and just on that account, averse to those who value the physician higher than the priest, they thereby encourage the continuance of actual distress. If there had not been a surplus of dissatisfied persons of this kind in Europe since the time of the Middle Ages, the remarkable capacity of Europeans for constant transformation would perhaps not have originated at all. For the claims of the strong, dissatisfied persons are too gross and really too modest to resist being finally quieted down. China is an instance of a country in which dissatisfaction on a grand scale and the capacity for transformation have died out for many centuries, and the socialists and state idolaters of Europe could easily bring things to Chinese conditions and to a Chinese happiness with their measures for the amelioration and security of life, provided that they could first of all root out the sicklier, tenderer, more feminine dissatisfaction and romanticism which are still very abundant among us. Europe is an invalid who owes her best thanks to her incurability and the eternal transformations of her sufferings. These constant new situations, these equally constant new dangers, pains and, and makeshifts have at last generated an intellectual sensitiveness which is almost equal to genius and is in any case the mother of all genius.